monitor tab, click on the packet capture, and we can make sure that filters are on. After that one, we make sure that packet capture is enabled. Later on, you can see these files here. Let's learn about the packet capture today. So we are going to focus packet capture in Palo Alto Firewall. This is very essential feature whenever you are going to investigate or troubleshoot any issue when your configuration is not working. You have done the configuration and you are not getting the intended results until some of the sources are not able to communicate to the destination. In that case, we go for the packet capture. This is not the full proof the results which gives you the correct information we also go for the flow basics but this is the one step which you can take like you can take the packet captures without going to the maintenance window because you need maintenance window for the flow basic that's like deep investigation but this one is the first step what we do sometimes we also do the packet capture along with the flow basics let's learn about the actual scenario so here i have a topology to the firewall and this is my server which is having an ip address of 10.1.1.100 this is my source machine 192.168.1.100 if i try to ping this 192.168 basically i am going to ping 10.1.100 the server i'm not able to ping it so i thought to do the packet capture that why I'm not able to ping it as cause of it. Okay. So whenever you are going for the packet capture, two things you have to do. First, you have to set up the filters that which source IP or destination IP you want to capture. Obviously, you don't want to capture everything which is flowing through your firewall. This is my lab scenario to be uh, lower traffic but in the production environment you will be having huge traffic you cannot capture all the traffic so you need the filters that what source ip or what destination ip you want to capture so these are the options to what you can capture you can select the interface address uh, like from which interface you want to capture what is the source ip you want to capture or you want to destination ip you want to focus on what the source port you want to filter on or the destination port. protocol option is also there and you have also option for the ip and non ip so these are the option based on these criteria only you can do the packet capture if you want to do what the application layer or in for any let's say website or url you can't do that one you have to use the ip address of that url so if i add filter obviously because we i need to Ping from 192.168.1.100 to 10.1.1.100. So first source will be this IP 192.168.1.100, right? So if I go to my firewall, I will add ID number first. Interface address I don't want to focus. I can select if I want, but as of now I'm just selecting the source IP 192.168.1.100. Okay, destination I am focusing towards the 101100. Okay, so I will add the destination 101100. Source port usually we don't do, but if required, you can do it. Destination port you can specify for which port you want to capture it. So for example, if I want to focus for port number 443, I will go for 443. Okay. And then I need to add one more filter. Okay, so the maximum four I can select. If you see here, right, so you have only four options, only four filters you can add. You can all see here as well in the background zero class four filter set. So one more filter I will set for the reverse traffic, but because there are chances that forward traffic is going through the firewall, but reverse traffic is not coming back to your machine right like this forward traffic is reaching up to the server server is also responding but after the firewall is not sending it back that could be the option right so i will fit uh, set one more filter in the reverse direction id2 don't use interface address 
this time i will reverse it 10 1 1 100 will be my source and the destination i will be putting as 192 168 1.100 okay and i will not uh, do the port as of now but if you want you can do it okay now next thing like whenever you are doing any packet capture for any nat thing like right, wherever network address translation is also happening in that case you should add two more filters and use that netted ip okay so that you can come to know that okay if NAT is happening or not so that can also be done okay i click okay now you will see that here two of the filters are set i will enable the filter very first thing okay sometimes whenever you might have or in your production environment like your any of the colleague might have taken the packet capture before or anywhere it has been taken those files you can see it here already so if those files are there just select those files from here and delete them okay and make them clean so it's good practice like uh, you don't get confused with the previous and the new capture right now if i refresh it from here i will not get anything okay i don't see any captured files here i have to also add that what type of files i want to capture so there are four types of file like four stage we can see we can capture the drop files we can see the firewalls we can see the receive and we can see the transmit so it's a good practice because you are doing the capture just capture all of them so i will do the capture for the drop stage file name i will use as a drop like uh, uh, my drop or any name you can give whatever like investigation you are doing related to that okay and i will give today's date like uh, or anything like 30.06.2024 okay and this one i will put everywhere so this is one of the file it's created you will see that i have created this one one more i will add so this like on which stage you want to capture the traffic so i will capture for all of them and this stage is for the transmit that whatever the packets are being received okay my receive and i will add one more stage that is the transmit that what is we're getting transmit so my transmit and control v click okay now if i refresh now still i will not see any capture but in case like uh, your production you still you will not see because i have not enabled any capture okay so now next thing whenever you are ready to initiate the traffic or it is like sometimes the auto flow is there and you are seeing those traffic flowing enable those captures okay so i will enable those captures it is keeping the warning that uh, packet capture is for troubleshoot only this feature can cause the system performance to degrade and should be used only when necessary so obviously i know it that it is going to degrade so don't keep it on for very long time in the production environment and it is suggested that if you your uh, resources like cpu and memory users are high on your firewall prefer to do it in the off business hours okay but uh, i will proceed right now click ok next thing i initiate the traffic from my server so now i try to ping it so if i ping it i may not get the capture i'm sure because i have i'm capturing for the port 443 and icmp is not port for port 443 right so let's see it so if i refresh it i don't see anything because obviously like uh, 10 1 1 1 100 uh, i'm initiating that the icmp packet and filter i have selected that is for the port number 443 so i will not see anything so let's initiate from the browser okay so now if i hit from here that now i should see something if i refresh now okay it's still not so i will go for once more i think my filters are correct i will check once again 
10 1 100 yeah they are fine so i should see some guests coming to my firewall no okay i will try once again okay see now so i think it was taking the port 80 by default so that's why it was come not coming and now it is taking the port 443 so if i refresh it multiple uh, two, two three times like uh file will be the same but obviously it might the size might have increased right Current, currently you see that's 0 0.08606 if i refresh it because i have refreshed three times it will be little higher right it's increasing so if i refresh now it will not increase but if i hit here because the packet capture will be more in that one okay so now if i refresh it here the size you will be seeing a little bit more now i have to download these files and analyze them so i will check this my receive file it's downloaded and i will open it the packet wireshark okay so in the wireshark i can see the packet like 192.168.1.100 obviously i have captured this traffic filtering on the firewall so i will see only for these traffic if i select any of them and see the transmit control for for three right that's what is happening so still i'm not getting the exact thing that what is happening like the communication is reaching so that one thing you are sure there's nothing is dropped in between right like from here there's nothing behind it is dropped it is available on the firewall something is happening on the firewall or something is happening after that one there's nothing wrong behind that one because you are back cap capturing that traffic here so now if you analyze it further like my firewall and my transmit you are also seeing some receive files let me check on the my firewall what is happening and we see the both the traffic like from here 10 1 100 it is also replying back from 443 where it was received right so tcp three-way handshake is happening basically right now if i check the my firewall logs this is like packet capture we do it and uh, this is usually only helpful whenever you are start seeing the logs on the monitor tab and this packet capture is available under this monitor tab all right so i go for graphic here And you see that like trust to DMZ SSL and it is hitting some other application, right? Some Google Drive and uh, port 443, that is fine. And it should respond back. But and traffic is allowed, I think. So I will create one more policy for it and then it should work. So that's like my internal process. But I wanted to show you that how basically packet capture is being done and uh, now i'm sure that you are confident enough that how to do packet capture on the Palo Alto firewall if you want to learn some other things so my website is freshdeveloper.online you can access this website and here under the self-learning you can go through the recorded session of the 48 firewall checkpoint and Palo Alto. I'm also starting the courses of the cyber security. So I have recorded for the CCNA, like basic networkings, as well as Linux for hackers and some other series will be coming in this one. If you want to join any live classes, those will be visible here. For example, for Palo Alto or 48, the live schedule and time or upcoming batch details will be here. You can also follow me on the LinkedIn. So my Name is Anuj Bharatwaj and you can follow this URL linkedin.com slash in slash learn with Anuj Bharatwaj and you will find my page. Connect with me and get interacted. You will get latest information and the technology trend updates from here. All right, guys, see you soon in the upcoming videos. Till that, bye-bye.